In this lecture, we're going to look at combustion reactions, and we're going to see how we write the products of combustion reactions and how we can balance this type of reactions. So combustion reactions are the reaction of hydrocarbons with oxygen, and the products of combustion reactions are always carbon dioxide and water. So let's look at an example. Ethylene burns in air to produce carbon dioxide and water. So let's write this reaction and balance this. So ethylene, C2H4, burns in air, meaning that it reacts with the oxygen in air, and it produces carbon dioxide and water. So this is a combustion reaction, a hydrocarbon, a compound that's composed of only carbon and hydrogen is reacting with oxygen and the products are carbon dioxide and water. Now for combustion reactions, in order to balance them, this is the order that we're going to use. First of all, we're going to balance carbons. Then we're going to balance hydrogen and we want to do the oxygens at the end. So let's look over here. So first of all, we want to balance the number of carbons. So in the C2H4, we have two carbons. So I would need two carbon dioxide here. Then you want to balance the hydrogens. In the C2H4, you have four hydrogens. So you would want two water molecules on the product side. Now the only thing left is the oxygen. So from the product side, we have four oxygen from the carbon dioxide and two oxygen from the water, which is the total of six oxygens, meaning that we would need three oxygen gas on the reactant side to balance this reaction. Now let's look at another example. Now this is the reaction of acetylene with water, with oxygen, which is a combustion reaction, and the products are carbon dioxide and water. Remember to balance combustion reactions, you first want to balance the number of carbons, then you want to balance hydrogens, and you want to do oxygen at the end. So to balance the carbons, we have two carbon from the C2H2, so I'm going to need to have two carbon dioxide on this side. In terms of hydrogens, you have two hydrogen in C2H2, and I already have two hydrogens for water. Now, we're going to balance the oxygens. So you have four oxygen from two carbon dioxide and one oxygen from water, which is a total of five oxygens. So how do I balance this now? The only way I can have five oxygen is by giving this O2 the coefficient of five half. But we know that our balancing coefficients have to be whole numbers. So in order to eliminate these two, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to multiply this entire reaction by two. Now look, this two and these two cancel out. But you're multiplying the entire reaction, meaning that I'm gonna end up with two C2H2 plus five O2, which produces four carbon dioxide and two H2O. Now this reaction is balanced. So if you end up with odd number of oxygen, give your O2, the half coefficient, but remember that you have to multiply the entire reaction, meaning every single reactant and every single product by two to eliminate the fraction of um, the coefficient for oxygen. So let's look at another example here. C2H6 burns in oxygen in air and it produces carbon dioxide and H2O, a combustion reaction. Now, in order to balance, remember first we balance carbon, then we balance hydrogens, and then we do oxygens at the very end. 
So we have two carbon in the reactant side, so I would need two carbon dioxide on the product side. Now for hydrogen, we have six hydrogen from C2H6. That means I need three water here. And in terms of oxygen, you have four oxygen from carbon dioxide, three oxygen from water, which is a total of seven oxygens. So to have seven oxygen, I give this seven half because these two and that two cancel out. I end up with seven oxygen. But the coefficient for O2 is now a fraction, and fractions are not acceptable as balancing coefficient. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to multiply this entire equation by 2. So I'm going to end up with 2C2H6 plus 7O2. That produces 4CO2 and 6H2O. Now this reaction is balanced.